Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. This is going to be uh, an episode with not so much progress, but more about the routine of things. Like we've got our tasks set pretty much. We know what we're doing. We're, we are building up the cottage a little bit, but we're also having to do a lot of other little medial tasks like collecting food and farming. And we'll get a little bit into farming later. But um, this, it's mostly going to be about the, the little uh, chores we have to do. But I will talk about um, both farming and I will talk about how we're going to be preserving our food. Preserving our food is going to be super important and it's going to come up in this episode because you're going to start to notice maybe some of the changes that are happening in our world. We'll talk a little bit about that. It'll be more um, prominent in the next episode though for sure but we're gonna want to expand our farm out. I've been treating the farm as very much a secondary thought because I am farming on low fertility uh, soil and that makes for very, very slow growing crops. I do want to, uh, you know, I am slowly working towards high fertility uh, soil, but you know, with our rot. Rot is, um, it's kind of a mixed bag because you do have to basically plan to purposely spoil some of your food. I don't know if there's some food that is more efficient at for spoiling than others but i've been treating uh you know i've just been kind of like oh you know i forgot to eat this and so i'm going to go ahead and just dedicate that to to rot and to, uh, eventually to compost uh i don't get so much into uh starting to like keep things organized for compost right now but i will later uh, probably in the next episode so I do want to talk a little bit about preserving food because um, the, the changes I'm talking about in the environment are that uh, slowly the, the leaves are turning brown, a little bit orange, and we can see the signs, the, the dangerous signs that uh, winter is slowly approaching. And I'm not nearly ready for it yet. I want to have a, a pretty good stockpile of food ready for, for winter it's because I'm not actually sure uh, how I'm going to keep, you know, sated when basically I can't grow crops, assuming that I don't get my proper farm set up. And yeah, I do want to do an indoor farm. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work. So uh, we'll get into it later. But yeah, uh, you know, higher fertility soil, stuff like that, that's going to be a priority, but it's going to be a slow priority. But we're going to talk about something for a moment. I'm going to interrupt a lot of this to bring your attention to an interesting mystery that I have come across. So I'm going to basically let you see, watch this. And I want you to tell me maybe if you saw something happen. Because I've noticed that this guy here, my hammer mold, just kind of disappears. Watch it. Watch it happen. Real. It's. Yeah. It's just gone. I don't know what happens here. I think maybe I accidentally right clicked it. I think that that's what happened. But here's the interesting thing. You're gonna, we're, we're gonna, like this is gonna be a slow progress kind of mystery because we're gonna see it. It's in my inventory right here as I'm making flour and I'm making flour for a purpose. We're, we're preserving food. But um, the thing is, is, you know, I put it back on the shelf later. I don't know. Um, currently where the hammer mold is and it's going to be a mystery we solve together because I'm just not sure um, I found it in this episode like I found where it was and here it is I like oh yeah what is this doing in my inventory was that something I wanted to like fire burn no it's already finished so I'll put it back on the shelf but like later currently it's gone I have no idea where it is I don't know how that happened but we'll get to it I do know how um, something else disappears, which we'll get to in this episode, which is a, a bunch of medium fertility soil, which I'm really kind of burnt up about. But um, fortunately, I didn't burn the, the loaves. Uh, so I am preserving the loaves. <laughs> uh, I, I'm actually I'm, I'm baking these loaves for the sake of storing them for wintertime because there's a, a really nice sense of aesthetic when you have uh, a bunch of loaves sitting on the shelf. Terrible way to keep your bread um, from going stale, by the way. But uh, I do know that there that is actually uh, apparent, apparently a valid form of preserving your bread is to let it go stale so that it 
Um, maybe it, it keeps it from from molding. I don't know, but we'll uh, we'll look we'll, we'll check that out later. But um, I've had a look at the different kinds of food and how long each one takes to spoil. And um, the conclusion I've come to is that the best way to preserve food, or at least in terms of um, your carbs, is to keep your uh, keep your carbs in like flour form. This is probably very obvious to people, but you know, flour seems to preserve the longest. So if you make uh, make flour out of all of your grains and then just keep the you know the flour in a jar or in a crate or something, then it keeps for like 90 days or something ridiculous um, versus like 30 to 60, depending on how you're preserving your bread. And the grains themselves don't really keep for very long at all. But uh, yeah, so flour keeps quite well. So I, the, the plan is to, you know, keep a lot of flour on uh, on tap and then make, you know, bulk make um, baked goods at, at you know, when I need them. So, but I want to keep them on the shelf because I love the aesthetic of just having like little loaves on the shelves. I think it's, it's kind of cute, honestly. So we're um, spending a bit of time in the forest for uh, various different reasons. Um, and the forest, I've come to realize, is not a, really a place you want to go to. I have to go to go there. It's like a necessary evil because there's a lot of stuff that I, I can make use of. Um, and we do want to start stockpiling food. And we do want to dig up some um, soil. But, like, the the forest is tends to be the place I die the most often. Because you're generally going to find a wolf milling about in the forest and if you uh, if you spot them there's no problem you can easily avoid them but um the forest you, you know sometimes you can't see the wolves for the trees you know what i mean and uh if they see you before you see them there's not much you can do about it you can't really fight them off i mean i need to get some better armor i think is the lesson here but it's not something i've been really trying to do i've been trying mostly to focus on survival and progress in terms of our technology um, so armor has not really been a priority. So here I am trying to, you know, making some more flour. I, I do really like this process, but uh, it's going to become very tiresome and labor intensive, um, you know, as we, as we continue. So yeah, I do eventually want to do the whole windmill thing and that'll be interesting. There'll be, uh, that'll be an interesting kind of learning curve. Gonna do a little bit of combat here. A little bit of combat never hurt anyone, except it literally did hurt me, so. That's pretty good. Our hammer mold is still there, still on the shelf, so, you know, the mystery continues. Um, you can see we're doing a little bit of work on the, the house, but I'm rudely interrupted by a, a small army of these drifters. Um, they're, I don't know, sometimes they just, they're very, uh, a lot and sometimes there's not many. I don't know. I think it has something to do with how long I Decide to do chores while it's nighttime, but I am unfortunately breaking a couple of these uh, Ruins down specifically to get the cobblestone from them since it's you know, it's pretty labor-intensive to be digging Cobble or granite and then making granite stones. I decide to or, or opt instead to do a little bit of uh, pillaging, um, some archaeology, if you will, um, on some some of the local ruins. I'm sorry to include the killing of the ewe, but there's a pointed reason for that because I wanted to make something specific, which will be the end of the episode. Um, the, you know, the small bit of progress I do make. Do a bit of berry gathering again for something specific, but uh, yeah, man, the forest is not like I say, not the place you really want to dwell. There's a lot of dangerous stuff in there, including uh, all, two near misses with wolves. You can see they're me slowly backing away from two wolves, not just one, but two of them, which is just a nightmare. Um, but you know, we we need we need the berries, we need them granite, and uh, I, I kind of I guess like for me, I started to get a little bit of impatient with the progress with the cottage because. It's been so long that I've been trying to like turn it into something. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to dig out these ruins and uh, that'll be a shortcut to... There's another wolf. And the thing is, I couldn't tell if that was maybe a wolf or a raccoon. They do look slightly similar. Um, I know one is like very differently sized 
from the other, but you know, never mind. Uh, so here I'm gonna I, I'm getting ourselves some medium fertility dirt that'll be useful so for when we have compost. Um, the compost is a process. It's a long process, but it is one that I have uh, done some progress on. So that'll be probably in the next episode. And we're doing doing a lot of archaeology today, um, to put it lightly, for the sake of some house construction. I love that I whenever I find a hole, I find the need to like just you know put a mar marker on the map hole. And uh, at, at one point, coal, hole with coal, which was one of my favorites. But yes, we're making a fruit press. That's what I needed the fat for. So there's a, you know, I, I don't like to include, you know, violence. I know that's weird. Some people are going to be weirded out by that. But I, I, I find that weird. That, uh, you know, I don't necessarily want to have to kill the local animals. But it, for the sake of survival, I suppose. Um, and there's a practical reason as well the the more animals you kill the less you have for the sake of animal husbandry which is something we are going to want to do eventually but it's not something i really want to do yet but so we're going to do a, a little bit of metal working i need on myself a um, chisel for making the fruit press as well as other things it's going to be a little bit more useful in the next a couple episodes um, mostly for aesthetic reasons but it is also very useful for making some very functional pieces of tech um, so you know our fruit press made we'll get into it next episode and in terms it's a, it's a pretty interesting little machine and it's useful for a number of things and I happen to mess all of those things up unfortunately but if you enjoyed this episode, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.